What's going on, friends? Welcome in to Sports Extra. We back. Week two of the show. I'm Julie Mitchell alongside my partner in crime, Nick Speliopoulos. Week two, and we are ready to roll, Julian. We've got you covered from up in Chanhassen down to Spring Grove tonight, but we're going to start the show here in Rochester. Let's do it. Over at Spartan Field, Mayo in a very special home opener. The team's first in 6A, taking on Egan. Spartans start with the ball, but a high snap over the head. Reese Grimsrud and Egan recovers it here. And this turnover is going to lead straight to points. The handoff here in the red zone from Egan to Tate Gage. Going to scamper in for the touchdown. BAT was blocked, though, so Mayo down 6 0. Next Spartan drive, handoff, Isaiah Beal, but he loses it. Ball on the carpet. Who has it? Egan says they do, and that's true. Another turnover for Mayo here early. So once again, Wildcats working. Carson Schwamm finds Madden Eisen, and the running back finds Pater. Spartans down 13 zip in this one. But Mayo isn't going quietly. It's always dangerous kicking to Carter Holcomb, and he shows why. Making a cut up the middle. Break towards the sideline. Look at this big hit here. He goes shoulder to shoulder with this man. Pushed out the 40 in the first quarter. That set Mayo up perfectly here. There's a handoff to Beal. And the junior back puts Mayo on the board. 13-7 the score there. And the dust settled over at Spartan Field, though. Mayo falls here 40-14. to The final score there from Spartan Field. Spartans 1-1 one one now on the year. In Stewartville, the Cass and Manorville Comets took a quick trip to visit the Tigers. This one, a rematch of the Section 1 for a championship of 2022. Tigers won that one 46-22. With seconds remaining in the first half, Aiden Helder connects with Tegan Malone. A short yard strike, putting the Tigers up 10 at halftime. Stewie would get the ball to start the second half. It's another Helder to Malone connection. Big gain after the catch, but emphasis on ball security. This one gets loose. KM, Stewie Pyle, and KM would come up with it. Off the turnover, Comets first play. QB Kyle Nelson taking it a long way, giving KM good field position, but Cass and Manorville gets stopped, turning the ball over on downs. Stewartville back in the red zone, a toss up for Parker Wangen. Wangen making Randy Moss proud, reaching over Kyle Nelson for the touchdown. It's another Stewie score. Cassin halted at 10 points while the Tigers continue to roll. They win big by 30, 40 to 10 from Stewartville. All right, next here we go out to RCTC. The Lord Eagles, Lord Eagles hosting PEM in a rematch of last year's section semifinal. PEM won then. We'll pick it up second quarter. Lord up 7-0. Still in early season form for me, so this play fakes me out, but not the Eagles. That pass is intercepted by Nels Pearson. He'll take it in the Bulldog territory. Eagles ready to fly. A few plays later, Lord QB Adam Sellner. What is he selling? Touchdowns. A big run there with the cast on the hand, too. Eagles stretching the lead. 14 zip. Jump ahead. Under a minute to play in the first half. PM moving. Alex Heinrichs slings it. And what a grab from Hunter Tennis to put PM in the red zone. Big third down here. Heinrichs keeps it, takes off for the edge, and He's got reservations for 6 p.m. on the board. Bulldogs now looking to go for two. Nolan Welke with it. Little spin here, gonna reach over the line, but refs say he's short, hip was down. So Lord head and a half up 14-6. The dust settled there over at the Regional Sports Stadium. The Eagles come away with the win, 21-6 over P.E.M. Lord with the win there. Elsewhere here, Pine Island beats Red Wing 36 13, two defensive touchdowns for Pine Island in that game. The caller who called in that score said Pine Island is celebrating tonight with that win. Big win for the Panthers. Other score here, Lake City with the win over Zambrota Mazeppa, 28-14. Stats there, Keegan Ryan for Lake City, seven catches, 100 yards, two TDs, and a pick. Also had 50 yards on the ground rushing in that one. Keegan Ryan, just a force. Some more scores here. Albert Lee falls on the road to New Ulm, 29-18, the final score from that game. Lots of action. Don't go anywhere. We're just getting started here on Sports Extra. The Owatonna Huskies hit the road to face Chanhassen. We'll have those highlights. Plus, the Byron Bears open its home season on that gorgeous new field out there. Could they get W number one on that field? Sports Extra rolls on after this quick two-minute timeout. <laughs> 